But let's see what happens now with uh, quota. So we've got our downward sloping demand curve, upward sloping supply curve, and the market would normally operate at the equilibrium point here. But let's say that the government intervenes in the market and imposes a quota at this quantity here. So it's a quota at this quantity here. Now, the um, ordinarily we've been using an equilibrium price and quantity of five dollars and ten units. So let's assume that this quota is roughly sitting at about seven units or so. So in other words. It doesn't matter, how, like suppliers and sellers would like to supply 10 units to the market, but the regulator restricts the amount that they can actually supply to seven. Again, so what happens to the supply curve in this situation? Well, it would normally be there, but what sort of happens is that the supply curve will then end up going vertical here. And so the supply curve moves up to go vertical at the quota because they're now not able to supply that um, any uh, any more than seven items to the market as a whole. Um, so we need to ask ourselves, where is the market going to operate? Well, if there's only seven units that are being supplied, then they're sort of silly to only charge, what, $4 for the good, because there's a whole lot of buyers up here who are willing to pay a lot more. So the market actually operates at this point here. Um, so let's assume, draw a horizontal line over here, uh, that that's roughly $6 or so. Okay, so this is the amount that that uh, the sellers are interested in supplying. Buyers are willing to pay $6 for that quantity and so the market actually operates at that point there. What happens to consumer surplus? Consumer surplus is the area between this horizontal line at which point that the market is operating and the demand curve. So it's now this area here. It's the consumer surplus. The producer surplus is the is the area between that horizontal line at which the market operates and the supply curve. So it's that area there. The social surplus, the total surplus, is just the combination of the two. And you notice we've created a deadweight loss by imposing this quota, which is that little triangle there, and no one gets that. So it's a deadweight loss there. So that's a quota. Now just as a side note, uh, quotas are only effective if they're to the left of the, the market equilibrium. If you impose a quota up here, well, then it might be good to have that quota, but it's not going to do anything according to this equilibrium because that is the equilibrium point there. And so if the quota is set above that equilibrium point, then it's not actually doing anything. It's, it's not an effective quota in the market. So it would require a shift in the demand of the supply curves um, in order for it to become effective. In order for a quota to be effective and, and actually do something in the market, it's normally set to the left um, at a lower quantity uh, to the actual equilibrium quantity that's in the market.